Hi, this is Robert Flores and today we're going to talk about the difference between fixed and variable rates. We're going to keep it very simple so it's going to be basically mortgages 101. Let's first talk about a fixed rate. What are the advantages of it? Well, one of the great advantages of it, it brings stability. You know what you're going to pay and for a lot of people it brings mental peace. Why? Because they don't want to worry about fluctuations in payments. The other thing is that it's easy to budget with. So for people who have fluctuations in their income, it gives them stability again. And the other thing, in the last 10 years, it's been a great product because the rates have been low. The negatives of it? Well, the negatives are that penalties could be higher, especially if you were a chartered bank. A chartered bank usually charges a lot more. Not nice to say, but that's the reality. Uh, also, if you lock in and the rates are high, the problem is you're going to have buyer's remorse. So those are the negatives of a fixed rate. Now, with a variable rate, the great thing is that history has shown that with variable rates, it's been a lot cheaper than fixed rates. Uh, but again, the another great advantage is that if you have to get out because life throws you a curveball and you have to get out of a mortgage, the penalties are a lot simpler. Generally speaking, three months interest, which ain't that bad. And obviously the other thing is that it's convertible, it's flexible, you can switch it to a fixed rate. The disadvantages is you got to keep your eye on it. As compared to a fixed rate where it's stable, with a variable rate you have to listen to the Bank of Canada when they change their rate. So in the last year and a half, for a lot of people who had variable rates, the rates have snuck up on them and have increased a little bit, a little bit higher. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, again, call our office. No obligation. We want to help. Have a great day. Bye-bye.